Welcome to another edition of the Hoop Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the mighty Joe Yeager. Well, mighty Joe, a nice uh, break from all the football talk and uh, kind of the depressing talk of the one and three start uh, is the release of the Big 12 basketball schedule. Texas Tech now knows, uh, you know, their whole schedule. And I think it's, you know, it looks pretty good overall, to be honest, mighty Joe. What's your overall thoughts of the release of the Big 12 schedule? And then we'll get to the whole A&M charity exhibition game here in a little bit. Right. Uh you know, well, it has its uh, rough patches and it has its soft patches, you know, as right. you would expect. I think it's uh, a typical uh, conference schedule in that regard. Uh, nothing really unusual about it. Uh, now, the first four games uh, the schedule are going to be difficult for Texas okay. Tech. Uh, three of the first four teams you play are Texas, that's at Texas, uh, and then uh, you've got uh, Houston. Oof. Uh, you got to have to go down to Houston at some point as well. So that's very difficult. And you get Oklahoma State and Lubbock. And Oklahoma State is my sort of sleeper dark horse team to okay. finish second in the Big 12 oh, wow. uh, because everything's planned for second. Basically, behind Kansas yeah. is kind of the way it's shaping up. So, I mean, you got Texas, you got uh, Oklahoma State, you know, and you got Houston. Uh, and so it's, uh, I think, quite likely probable that Tech will start out. Uh, one and three in conference play. They also get K-State here in Lubbock uh, during that stretch, and I think Tech should be able to win that one. But if you do start one and three, you know, does it get into the heads? Uh, is there? A, it'll be up to Coach McCaslin if this happens uh, to prevent some sort of a snowball effect from three losses becoming a lot more. So that first four games uh, is going to be pretty difficult. Uh, after that, the schedule lightens up a little bit, and it's, it's quite manageable. But then you have a stretch in uh, mid-February where you're, you've got games uh, against Kansas, Iowa State, and TCU. Uh, Kansas is here. Iowa State is there. Uh, TCU, I think that one is here. Regardless, TCU is my team to, that I'm actually picking to finish second in the Big 12 this year. Second? Uh, second. Who, where do you have Oklahoma State then? I have Oklahoma State third. Third, okay. They're a threat to finish second, okay. but I've got them, I got them third. TCU, I've got second. Kansas is Kansas, right? right. And then at the Fog, or not the Fog, but uh, at Hilton yeah. uh, for Iowa State. Hmm. Uh, and Iowa State's going to be good this year. Uh, maybe, Who is maybe. it going to be good in the Big 12 this year? <laughs> <laughs> there are some. Uh, and that's the st soft stretch that okay. I was telling you about. Uh, but So that's three games right there in mid-February. Uh, but you're going to have a hard time winning any of them, so you may have a little three-game fade right there. Uh, and so, you know, those are the two things that really stand out. Uh, you know, fortunately, uh, you get Kansas and Lubbock, so there's a little bit of break there. You don't have to go to the fog. Uh, but realistically, I mean, even beating Kansas and Lubbock is going to be a tall task, but at least you got an outside shot at it. Uh, on the negative side, you have to go to Iowa State and you have to go to Houston. So that sort of cancels out uh, your good luck with Kansas a little bit, and uh, but you know all things considered, um, it's uh, you know I think it's just basically a fairly typical conference schedule. And then, mighty Joe, it was just announced that Texas Tech will be playing Texas A&M. Now, technically, it's not a renewal of the rivalry because it's not going to count. It's an exhibition game, but it's a charity exhibition game in Denton. Uh, you know, so that, I think that's that's pretty cool that they turned it into a, a charity game instead of just having it like a closed scrimmage. Uh, but what, what's your thoughts on Texas Tech playing A&M again in a, in a major sport? Yeah, you know, uh, I'd prefer it if it was for real. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, ideally in the NCAA tournament, uh, maybe in the Final Four. Uh, no, yeah. no, I take that back. I don't want to see A&M ever in the Final Four. So <laughs> maybe we give them the Elite Eight. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's, I mean, uh, that's going to be uh, you know, uh, a strong challenge uh, for Texas Tech. You know, and again, depending on these these exhibitions, you know, I mean, are they that important? How much do they foretell about the future? I don't know. You get different schools of thought on that. Yeah. But at the very least, uh, you're going to play a team that uh, was, boy, they finished 25 and 10, I believe, last year, something like second or third in the SEC. Uh, but then they got bounced in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, Buzz Williams, uh, coach at A&M, good coach. I, I'm imagining him and McCaslin are probably, probably pretty good pals. And so that's how this thing got all set up. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, certainly it will be interesting to see uh, how the two teams fare against one another. We're going to get to see a lot of brand new faces, you know, on yeah. uh, uh, in action for the first time. And that's always very interesting. It is. And I believe that exhibition game is the final tune up before they start the regular season. I think it's October 29th, if I remember correctly. And that is in Denton. So uh, that'd be cool. I bet some tech fans, you know, a lot of the tech fans in North Texas will, will make that. But my Joe, that's the Big 12 schedule. Great stuff from you as always. Thank you all for watching and until next time.